Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here at Amish Tutorials. Well guys, uh, today we are going to do another request and this time we are going to uh, look at how to model a multi-level house. So basement, ground floor, first floor and so forth. And um, because of time issues, we're not going to do a complete house, uh, exterior, interior and so forth. Uh, I'm going to focus on how to create the multi-level uh, components, so to speak, and how to connect them by creating openings for the stairs and connecting the two floors with a staircase. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with a simple polygon cube. And we're going to give that some height. So let's say this is your, uh, your lower section of the house, if you will. Right click on a face, select that top face and hit delete. And we're going to right click on this guy, go to object mode, hit control D to duplicate and pull that up for later use. Okay. Now I will create a front door and you can use the same technique pretty much to use, uh, to create windows, etc. Uh, but I'll just do that as, as an example. Make sure I'm on my front view. I'm going to go to my front view here, select this guy, edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, and we'll add an edge there, add one there, and add one right there. Okay. Hit Q on our keyboard, right click face, select that face, and hit delete. So there we have our door opening, right? Next, we're going to take our top floor, right click object mode, hit W and move that down until it's sitting on top. All right, cool. Now, if we check out this floor here, normally when you enter a front door, you would have your stairs aligned next to the wall here going up. And above your head, you would have an opening here that will allow you to get into, you know, onto the next level, right? So we're going to switch to our top view and we're going to create that opening. Okay. So if we check it from this view by these two edges, we can see where our front door is, right? This is the dimension of our front door. Now, typically stairs are not exactly aligned with the front door because they're usually sitting or hugging a wall. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here as well. Now we're going to go to edit mesh, insert edge loop. And let's say our stairs end somewhere around there. And the opening above our heads goes to about, let's say here. And we want that opening to be um, the same width as the door. Okay. Maybe a bit more. Let's say that. Okay, so now that we got that, we are going to hit Q on our keyboard, right click face, select that face, and hit delete. So what would happen is you would walk into this door here, right, and then you would look up and you would see a hole in the ceiling for the stairs to go in. Now we still have one problem, and the problem is our walls are paper thin. I'll just move this guy down a bit. So what we're going to do to fix that is we are going to drag select the whole deal. Make sure you're in object mode, edit mesh, extrude, thickness 0.2. So now we have thickness to our walls and I'll prove that you can see it here. And you can also see it when you look at our front door. Okay. All right, now for the stairs, and we'll just hit four for wireframe mode. Okay, so I want stairs to not start at the front door, but let's say start somewhere around here, okay? And they need to end up here. And typically you have around, let's say 13 steps to deal with, but how do you get them aligned in a way that it fits perfectly, okay? That's the trick. Now, what we're going to do as a um, kind of a ruler or guideline is we're going to hit five for shaded mode. We're going to take a simple cube, right? 
And we're going to pull that up. Hit R. We're going to scale it in a little bit. And we're going to right click, go to vertex, select the top here, and start to push that over. Okay. Now, these are not the steps. We're going to delete this later on. Okay. It's just to help. We're going to hit 4 for wireframe mode. And let's see if we're at the right angle. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think just check checking. Okay, so we're going to right click, go to object mode first. Let's move that into our house. We'll check this first. I want this to hug my wall, as I said, and I don't want this to be that wide. So, but this is our opening up here, and it's yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll leave it like that. So that view is okay. Now for this view, I don't want my uh, stairs to start straight at the front door. So I'm going to move that over to have it start underneath where the opening in the ceiling starts. Okay. And this end has to connect there. So right click vertex, select these two. And I'm going to bring them down. I have to zoom in. And just make sure that this lines up with the top of that opening. Okay. Now let's just check that out to make sure that it's okay. So the top is aligned. So when I walk up the stairs, I end up here. That's good. And it's not starting immediately at my front door, but a little bit inwards, as you can see, right? And I have a little bit of width next to the stairs as well at this end, right? Okay, so that's good. Now, now that we have that done, we're going to start thinking about the actual stairs. All right. So again, we'll hit 4 for our frame mode. And I'm going to create one step, if you will. So I'll just create a cube. Pull that up. I have to zoom in, maybe a bit more. I'll hit 5 for shaded mode. Right click face, select that, edit mesh, extrude. Hit W, pull that up. Actually, let's hit R, scale that out. Sorry, wrong handle. Scale that out like that. Move it over. A G to repeat and pull that up. Okay. Okay, let's say that's one step. And we'll just uh, go to edge, take these two, edit mesh and bevel. Okay, so you get the idea. All right. Now we're going to go back to wireframe mode again. And let's get this scaled to size. Object mode. We're going to hit W. We're going to bring that in. Hit F to zoom in. Now I want my steps to hug the wall, but as you can see, it's way too big. How do I know that? Well, if I look here, we should have about 13 of these on top of each other to reach that, right? So we're going to hit Control D. We're going to move that up. That's two. And then hit Shift D, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Not too bad, right? We're going to drag select all of these and then deselect this stuff. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to scale that in. Let's scale that down a bit. Hang on. What I'll do is I'll the mesh combine, modify center pivot. Okay. And now I'm going to scale that in and bring that down. So we're getting really close. Scale it in a bit more and bring it down a little bit more. There we go. So that is pretty close. Scale it out just a little. All right, 
and move that up. Okay. Then mesh. Separate. Select these. Try that again. There we go. Uh, let's see, mesh separate. Yeah, that's fine. And I just want the top ones and not the rest. There we go. And we're going to hit delete. Okay. Now I want this guy. Modify center pivot to line up with the top of my stairs. Okay. So we'll do that. All right. Now, if you check that out, you can see that uh, we need to find um, a recognition point, if you will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out. So this corner of the step is aligned with this diagonal line, all right? And then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate, pull that down, and move that forward until the next corner is aligned, right there, right? And then we're going to hit Shift D to repeat that. And we will have to adjust it probably because it's usually not exactly spot on. So we're going to take each one and just move it until that corner is aligned. And that will just take a sec. Let's turn off my caps. There we go. Almost done. All right. Now we're not 100% on the floor, so we can. Uh, take that edge and we'll just move the edge of the first step down a little bit which is not uncommon actually all right okay so we got that we can hit five for shaded mode and let's check that out okay so you come in and we'll get rid of this uh, ruler thing that we created delete okay so here are your stairs, and you move all the way up your stairs, and there you are, and you're in your next floor, all right? Now, what you can do here is you can copy this whole thing. If you want an additional floor with an additional step, you can just copy that up, okay? So that's basically how you do that. Now, you probably want to close up this opening here but not necessarily, I'll show you what I mean. If you're inside the house and you're on the ground floor, you have the steps in sight. So people will have a railing at this end to hold on to, and this side will be open. If you don't want that, what you can do is you can put up a wall right here. And I'll just show you what I mean. Take a polygon cube, pull that up. Start to move that in, and we'll hit four for wireframe mode. Go to our top view, hit F to zoom in. So that would be hugging your stairs, if you will. Now, you do want to have an opening from the front door into your house. So we would do that. We would hit Control D to duplicate that. Pull that over and scale it in quite a bit. So you would get something like that. Right click vertex, bring that in. Okay. And then that one, depending on where you want that to end, for, hang on, vertex, you can bring that in. So then, 
when you get into your house and we just need to bring the top down all right you would have uh, a door opening here and we need to connect this to here so that would be your front door hang on that would be your front door you would connect these two at the same height as your front door then your stairs are closed up right and then you can create additional walls for example going from here to here with a door towards the kitchen and so forth okay so i'll just hit five for shaded mode just uh get rid of that wall all right so that's basically it. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching, as always. And see you guys next time. Bye.